high school football, every season, every team is tasked with replacing the seniors from the year before. For Blackfoot, that group helped lead the Broncos to four straight playoff appearances. But it's a new era in Blackfoot, and they're ready for it. We had a great offseason. We had a great wintertime, great summertime, highest numbers per participation uh, that we've had. Um, a couple of other times we had uh, summer days that we had approached about 82. Um, we had a couple of days this summer that we were over 90, 96 kids. And so, you know, that's the kind of stuff that really makes us excited about this group. It's been a lot of really hard work. Um, lost a lot of dudes, so it's been a lot of trying to figure out. It's been a lot of trying to figure out what our lineup's going to be, but. Yeah, they all work super hard, so it's been a ton of fun. Weight room, weight room, weight room. Uh, we've had our numbers in the weight room go up so much, and we're all excited to see how it plays out on the field. After graduating 32 seniors, plenty of new names ready to make their mark this fall. There's two kids that have started more than five games, I think. Uh, so there's definitely a new group of faces that have to step up and, and uh, have new roles on the team that they're not necessarily used to. The Broncos thrived, centered around a deep passing attack, headlined by current Montana State Bobcat Javante King. The players say they'll get it done differently this time around. Even the players we have coming back, you know, it's a lot different. We don't have two super big tall dudes on the outside, so we gotta, we're not going to have those big... You know, 70 yard touchdowns. We're going to have to work down the field. With starting positions up for grabs everywhere you look, competition is bringing out the best in the Broncos. We've had more people have the drive and dedication to try to get and work for the spots, more opportunity for other people. Most of this group waited their turn to play varsity football. Now they're ready to show they belong. Everyone really likes each other, so we all want to work and fight for each other, make the team better. So I think our teamwork is our biggest strength. I would say having each other's backs, honestly. We've learned to be more of a team and having a bond that can't be broken. And if we want to go to war for each other, then that's what makes a good football team. This is a group of kids their whole lives. So they've just kind of had to fight for everything. The group in front of them, very, very talented group of guys. And uh, so these guys are kind of coming in behind with them, um, have had to fight for everything they've ever had. And so it's a very, very gritty football team. Then we got Coach Ackley mic'd up. Hustle over, hustle over, on the hop. Jaden, I love the hustle. That's great hustle, Jaden Welch. I need four people from this line to come work with Coach Waters, okay? You guys will be doing the same thing. They're just covering punt. Yeah, give me four guys over here. One, two, three, four. Hey, good rep. Good rep. Okay. When you guys get back up after your next rep, you guys are going to rotate over here, okay? Here. If you just drop the table like this, it'll go right where you want it to. But if I drop it like this, what happens? It spins. Catch the pot! Catch the pot! Finally, we ask the Broncos some funny questions. Who's the most reliable guy on the team? I'd say Jack Johansson. He's a super good dude. Probably our quarterback, Jace Cooper. Caden Parsons, by far. That, that kid just, I mean, um, in over a four-year time period, uh, the only time he's ever missed a workout is because he is doing something else related to football. What's something we should know about Coach Ackley? Oh, he's so good at Clash of Clans. He is insane. He showed me the other day, it's crazy. <laughs> My kids said Clash of Clans. Um, it says a lot of Marine stuff mm. and Marine chants during practice. They get you guys fired up? Yeah, sometimes we're like, what? What is he doing? <laughs> I love blues music um, and uh, I've uh, developed some skills on the barbecue grill over my time, especially in the South. Strongest guy on the team. It's Brody Meekum, uh, offensive lineman. Right now at the top is Brody Meekum. That's Zesky Westy, Weston Layton. Uh, it's, it's probably Brody Meekum, like just straight up strength, but Weston's is one of the safeties, so he's, he's pretty big. Who's the fastest guy on the team? Jaden Rodriguez. Yeah, Jaden's fast. Jaden Rodriguez, one of the four or five, fast. Jaden Rodriguez. Who's the best looking guy on the team? Noah Laura. He is, he's a beautiful man. Me? I mean, what do you, what do you want me to say? <laughs> Landon Gallegos probably spends the most time in the mirror, so we'll go with that. What's your pregame song? Till I Collapse, Eminem probably, or I'm Not Afraid. I'm, I love Eminem for pregame. Any kind of rap music, maybe some Lil Baby. <laughs> oh, Katy Perry. Just lots of Katy Perry. <laughs> and then uh, Thunderstruck by ACDC. 
That's like the last one I listen to before I go out. But Katy Perry. <laughs> what? <laughs> The Broncos' first game is at home against Emmett on August 25th.